Well, 12 ASU students can now add published authors to their resumes. We've got two of the students here today. This is Sheila Williams. She's a excuse me, professor of biology at Albany State University. And these are two of her students, um, Shanice Jackson and Danielle Albritton. And congratulations to all three of you because um, this professor has also written her own book. And now you kind of posed a question to your students and gave them this assignment. Explain. Yes, ma'am. Well, I told them that they can either write a 30-page term paper or they can write their books. They chose their books. And now so. all your students chose books. Yes, ma'am. That's wonderful. Yes. So what made you <laughs> ask them to write a book or what gave you those choices? Mm -hmm. I wanted them to be more competitive in the job market. I said as published authors, you can add that to your resume. As an undergraduate, how many undergraduates write books? So, so true. So very yes. wise of you and very wise of you guys to take that challenge. <laughs> so first off, um, tell me, Shanice, what your book is about. Well, my book is about um, my life at ASU, Albany State University, and how I started failing classes and I ended up on academic probation, but now I'm on track to graduate with the 3.0. Yeah. And I just wanted to write a book for the students to show them that they can make it, that they can still do it. What's your book called? Um, Shanice Realized My ASU Journey. There you go, wonderful. Tell me what your book's about. Well, my book is about minorities in science careers. And I, I really wanted to write this book because as an African-American woman especially, and I'm mostly in environmental biology, wildlife, and ecology. I don't see, you know, a lot of people like me. So this book is kind of about that. It's also like a guideline for other science students. That's wonderful. And what is it called? It's called We Wear Lab Coats. I love that. So very creative on both of your parts. Tell me about your book. My book was written over a year ago. It's called Eight Costly Mistakes Local Business Owners Make Online. Oh. It was uh, before I moved to Albany State or before I moved to Albany, rather, I was in New Jersey. Okay. And so I wrote a book for the local business owners to know how to use Facebook, to know how to use Twitter for their, for their business. Very, very smart. Well, we're going to be back talking with these published authors in just a little bit, so make sure to stick around. Over to you, Chris. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here again with ASU professor of biology, Shayla, Shayla Williams, and uh, students, Shanice Jackson and Danielle Albritton, and uh, they are all published authors, and this is something they are very proud of, and we're very proud of you as well, excited about everything you've done, but I got to know, how long did it take you to write these books? Well, it took me about, I want to say two weeks, a week or two. Mm -hmm. Probably about three weeks, but it was a lot of late nights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Along with right. our other schoolwork. Of course, <laughs> and now you gave them a short deadline. Yes, I did. Class started on August the 13th, I believe. They had September the 26th to turn in their first draft, October the 31st to turn in the final version. Mm -hmm. How long are they each? Um, my, mine's about 94 pages, and both for me, actually 102. Mine's about 65 pages. Okay. So now, uh, when you were writing this, how did you come up with what to say and kind of figure out how to put it into words? Well, mine's about my life, so I, feel, I felt as if I could talk about my life all day. I had to leave out certain things uh -huh. because it was so detailed. Okay. Mine was a lot of um, bouncing ideas off of fellow students or friends, just things that they would have liked to have known before they went to college and things that helped them along while they were in college. And so you were the one that kind of went through all of these. You have in your hands here, there were 12 of these students who were able to publish a book. And yes. these are all of their books. But you went through each one and kind of did the editing. And what were you thinking as you were looking through these books? I said, when I was looking through them, I said, wow, I had no idea that they were going through some of the things they were going through. There was one student who talked about having a gay parent. Wow. And she, the day she turned her book into me is the day her father died. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, you, you look at these students and you never know what they're going through. Yeah. It's like I think um, what I've said to them that it helps me to see you in a way that I've never imagined before. Like they're not just students, they're not just scientists, they're human beings right. with similar issues with their professors. So true, everybody has a story and so it's exciting that you guys were able to put yours in book form and you're able to leave that and people can read it. Mm -hmm. So where are you able to find this book? Well I have plenty of copies at home and you can email me at sjax52 at gmail.com, J-A-C-K-S. Okay. And um, for mine, Dr. Williams, we're going to be putting them on Amazon. Yes. Right. Yeah. So be looking for them on Amazon.com. And again, congratulations. Thank and uh, thank, you. thank you for challenging them. I think this is a great idea. Yes. They're very well. All right. Contact thank ASU if you guys want any information on that. We're going to hand it on over to Chris. 